path media media that's why you really have to be careful and be aware of your definitions and and know that um you know if you hold too tightly to them um and if you don't know that they're fluid and and if you believe that they're concrete they can be used against you they can be used to 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 create fear um they can be used to create anger and hatred um they can be used against you to get you to do things that you wouldn't otherwise do hi my name is ronnie cruz after almost two decades as a career network marketer, I realized that despite continual work on my personal and professional development, that I had hit a massive brick wall. So I took a deep and honest look at myself, top to bottom, hoping to find answers. And my search led me to one conclusion. The definitions I held of my business, of my world, of my life, were the very things holding me back. If I wanted to change, if I wanted to grow beyond my current circumstances, I had to wipe the slate clean and redefine. This show is dedicated to helping you identify the belief systems, the mindsets, the very definitions that have held you back, and then help you break through those limitations to finally create the life you've been working so hard to achieve. Welcome to the Redefine Podcast. All right, happy Thursday and happy podcast day to you. Welcome to the show if you're brand new. And of course, if you're an existing listener, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in, tuning in. Um, up here on the mountain again, down on the vineyard, I guess, relative to the house. We are down on the vineyard. Um, yeah, another beautiful day doing some work here on the mountain. And so I thought I'd shoot off another video. If, um, and completely aside, complete tangent, if you are listening to the podcast version of this and would like to see um, the video version, feel free to visit our um, YouTube. There's a video version for every episode. So um, come check it out. I'll leave the link in the show notes of this episode. All right. <clears throat> um, today, I want to circle back on Tuesday's episode where we talked about prioritization, right? Prioritizing activities and the things um, that uh, the, are the most important to you in terms of creating the life that you want to live, right? Because, I mean, we only get one go, right? So it's really, really super, super important. We get one go in this life. Our time is limited. Even if you think that you're going to live a very long life, which I believe I do, uh, I will. <laughs> um, we only have so many hours in a day. So time is limited on a day to day. And so I want to, I want to make sure that you are spending your time on the things that are the most important to you, um, yeah, in terms of creating the life that you want to live, right? Now, uh, in that episode, I also kind of mentioned kids' activities. I brought up kids' activities, and I, and I posed the question, um, are, well, do your kids, or, you know, your kid or kids, children, do children, <laughs> really need to be enrolled in all the activities that they're enrolled in, right? Uh, you know, your, your sporting league, little league type things, your recitals type things like ballet and music recitals, all those things that, that kids, um, sorry, a lot of bugs, uh, that kids are enrolled in, you know, do they really need to be enrolled in those things? And, and, and I brought that question up, not because, uh, you know, I think badly of kids activities, or I wanted to criticize kids activities, I understand and, and uh, the, you know, the value of those things. And I really, really love it. You know, for kids, uh, I, I, I love seeing children kind of explore and expand their own capabilities and really kind of, you know, get to know who they are. Um, airplane going by. So apologize for the background noise. Um, so, it, you know, it's not to disparage kids, kids activities, but, but I did pose that question um, to kind of raise your awareness around whether or not, um, you know, are you are the things that you're filling your time with really important to you? Or are you doing them just because? Right. Are you are you filling your time with these activities and these these things and pri and you're prioritizing these things just because it's what people do. Right. Just because it's what people do in society it's what people do in in my community. Oh, this is just what people my age do. It's just what people, you know, parents in my community do, um, you know, are you doing things by default and just because or are these things really important to you? Now, of course, you know, this can apply to so many more things than just kids activities. Again, I, I fully, um, uh, you know, appreciate and understand the value of kids activities. Um, but really, the, again, the point is, you know, how many of the things that how, how much of what you're doing on a day to day and how much of what you're what you're what you have filled your time with are really things that are very, very important to you and matter to you and are helping create, helping create the life that you want to live? Or are those things that you're just doing just because, right? By default, again, because of society, because of community. Um, 
you know, because of, because of, uh, this is just what people do my age, right? Um, so really, really raise your awareness and your, and, and be conscious of these things. And that's part of, that's part of, part of having this, this conversation with yourself is, is raising that awareness, right? Um, you know, re- really, really raising that awareness and then, and then decide what's important to you, regardless of what society or what culture tells you needs to be important, right? Decide it, decide it for yourself, consciously decide it for yourself, um, so that you can intentionally and purposefully create your own life as opposed to, um, you know, experiencing a life that's created by default. It's super, super important. And that's why definitions are important, right? You know, you get to define, you know, the life that you want to live, you get to define who you are. Um, And, and so, I mean, that's, that's all, that's what this, this podcast is all about. Um, As opposed to having, having, uh, you know, definitions that are, that are just by default, right? And, and just because, um, to continue the conversation then, uh, yeah, well, definitions are for sure, uh, two-sided blade, right? Two-sided blade. Um, they, they are needed, but they can also hinder, right? They are needed. Of course, again, we need definitions in order to define ourselves, define the lives that we want to live. We need those definitions, but also understand that definitions inherently constrain. Right? Definitions inherently box things in and, and kind of limits things to those very specific definitions. So um, number one, be willing, don't be attached to a definition wholeheartedly, right? Be willing uh, to well understand that definitions evolve and change, right? They're not concrete. Even outside of your own head, outside of your own mind, um, definition of one thing can be completely def- a different definition um, for another person. Right. So definitions only exist for you and they are not concrete. They are ever changing, Um, you know, especially as you as you travel through your own life, right, through your own life journey. Things are going to change for you, Um, your sensibilities, things that you're going to want, you know, like how you want to live. Those things will will evolve and will will change. So you have to be willing to to evolve and change those definitions. Again, they're not concrete. Um, And the second thing is they're only for you. (laughs) I kind of mentioned that because they don't live anywhere else outside your head. The definitions are not universal. Um, You know, they're only for you. And so make sure you're not imposing um, and enforcing those definitions on other people. Because number one, it's impossible. Uh, And number two, it's, it's not really fair. It's right. It's not really fair. Again, definitions by nature are limiting and, and constrain and, 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 and box people in. And, and so if you are unwilling to see beyond your own definition, um, and especially if you're trying to impose that definition on other people, you, get, you miss out on potentially getting to know the deeper individual and then therefore expanding your own definitions, right? I know we live in a we live in a very polarized world right now, especially here in the U.S. Um, we're in an election in an election cycle. There's a presidential election um, uh, happening in a few months, and it's very polarized, right? Politics is polarized around the world. It's polarized, right? With politics, um, get beyond that because the definitions that politics um, encourages encourages us to hold and therefore enforce are only for their benefit. Right? It's only for their benefit to, to, um, to divide and separate, to create fear. And that's why, that's why you really have to be careful and be aware of your definitions and, and know that um, you know, if you hold too tightly to them um, and if you don't know that they're fluid and, and if you believe that they're concrete, they can be used against you. They can be used to, to, to create fear. Um, they can be used to create anger and hatred. Um, they can be used against you to get you to do things that you wouldn't otherwise do, right? And again, you end up filling your time um, with things that ultimately don't matter um, to to the life uh, in terms of the life that you want to live because you've allowed other people to manip- manipulate your definition. So you have to be um, you have to be conscious of these definitions, right? And and be aware that definitions themselves are needed, um, but but they're not universal and they're not concrete and they're not for anybody else but you. All right, that's the message that I wanted to leave you today. Um, next episode on Tuesday, next week, we'll talk more about prioritization. Um, 
just from a from a output and productivity standpoint but i wanted to have this bigger conversation around definitions today so um hopefully that uh, will carry you through the the rest of the week and of course uh through the weekend have an amazing weekend enjoy um these last few weekends of summer at least here in the northern northern hemisphere <laughs> um and we'll catch you next tuesday with a fresh new one so until then be well be safe we'll see you in the next episode